Hello friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can install and run a Node.js application into Google to server and get an SSL certificate installed. So basically what we are going to do is create a new instance on AWS with an Ubuntu as an operating system and then install uh, Node.js, run an application on port 3000, then install Nginx, create a port forwarding to port 80 and using let's encrypt we will issue an SSL certificate. So let's get started. I am into my uh, dashboard here. So let's um, get a new instance, launch instance for me. And then I'm going to uh, give it a name. So in the next SSL, then I'm going to choose uh, Ubuntu. You can choose any platform that you want, but for this example, I'm going to choose Ubuntu 22.04. So to be comparative with my example, try to use the same version. If the version upgrades, then my these comments might not work. So check out my other videos in the channel so that uh, things are going to work. Because if the version changes, the comments that I'm running may not be compatible with that version. So be careful about that. What I'm running is Ubuntu 22.04. So I think if you use this version, it should be probably okay. I keep everything as default and keep a key pair. I already have created one. So if you haven't, then just create a new one. And I'm going to create a new security group with HTTP and HTTPS turned on. I don't need SSH because I'm going to use a console systems manager. So uh, to use the systems manager in the IAM instance profile, you need to create a uh, EC2 role. If you haven't created any role, it will not show anything. You need to click here to create a new role and then uh, give a permission, SSM full access so that you can log into that instance from this browser. Okay, that being said, let's launch that instance. So it will take a few minutes time. So I'm going to pause the video and come back in two or three minutes later. Okay, so uh, let's view our instances. It should be ready now. Yeah, it is ready. I'm going to uh, go to the details of the instance. Then I see a lot of informations. One of them is the public IP. One of them is the uh, like uh, in the security, I see security group and all those things. Okay. So uh, this is my public IP. This is like temporary. You should use always this elastic IP, but this is an example. I'm going to delete the instance after this example. So I'm not going to use the elastic IP. But if you want to do this on your real example or uh, real use cases like uh, setting up a real project, then you should always use elastic IP. So Let's connect to that instance by clicking the connect button. And uh, as I told you, I have linked this instance with an IAM role so that I am able to uh, log in by session manager. So click the connect button. And then we are going to run a few bunch of commands. So what are those? First thing is uh, I haven't blog written details. So what we have to do, it's all um, like given here. So uh, let's run the commands one by one according to the blog. So first I'm going to install Nginx. So, So I'm going to take root privilege and then I'm going to go to home open to okay. There is nothing here. Okay. Now let's try to install uh nginx. What I'm running is sudo apt install nginx. But before that running that you should I think uh, run sudo apt update. So update the APT packages and then I'm going to run the APT install Nginx. Okay, my update command done well. So let's clear the screen. 
and then uh, install it. Okay, it is uh, almost there. Okay, the Nginx installation done, you see. So uh, let's clear the screen. Then I'm going to start the Nginx server. So it is, should be a uh, system CTL. I am in, in the root privilege, so I don't need to write sudo, but if you are not in root, just add the command sudo in automatically. System CTL uh, start in GX. Then system CTL in engine X. Okay. So let's verify. We should have uh, a default blank screen. Yeah, our engineering installation time. Okay. Now let's go ahead back here and we are going to uh, install the Node.js and NPM packages. So you can just copy these commands and run it just like this. Then I'm going to copy this part. What we'll do, it will install NPM. NVM is a node version manager. We use it. And uh, using NVM, we are going to install different versions of node. So uh, let's verify that whether our NVM has installed properly or not. Why you are using NVM? Because like uh, if you wanted to switch different versions of node, NVM is a great way. So I can use NVM uh, like node 14, 16, 18 on the same machine and switch the version using NVM. Let me show you. So I have installed NVM and uh, let's say NVM install 16. So that means it will install uh, node uh, 16. It is by running this command. If I run NVM install 18, it will install the node 18. If I run NVM install 14, it will install node.js 14. So, and uh, current default alias is 16, but if I switch the alias, then the node version will also switch. So that's the beauty of NVM. That's why I choose NVM. So let's clear up the screen. And then what we have to do is uh, check the node version. I'm going to check the version node. So it is node 16. OK, so now what we have to do is uh, well, we are doing something first, Nginx first after the Node.js, but yeah, you can create the Node.js application first and then the Nginx. It shouldn't matter, but let's do the Nginx uh, Node.js application first. So I'm just going to uh, create an uh, index.js file and then just copy paste this code, which is pretty basic. It just gives a hello world message. It's running on port 3000. You can switch to a different port and it just says hello world. That's it. It's pretty simple. So even the baby can write this code. Okay. Then I'm going to create a package.json file. So I can move this information over there. So do apply. And then we are going to save it. That's it. You can change the different things, but let's keep it as it is. Now, if I run npm install, then it will install the necessary packages that is required, which is given in the package.js, like uh, express. So these are the things it will be installed. Now um, we can install uh, PM2. So I'm going to use PM2 to run this application in the background. So this is it. PM2 is being installed. And after that, I'm going to uh, create a PM2 start command that will run this. Uh, index.js as a background. 
You see, it's, it's running on port 3000 and uh, it's been up six uh, zero downtime. So uh, let's do a screen. If anytime we wanted to see what are the things that is in one PM2, we can just run PM2 list. It should give you all the list of uh, PM2 uh, processes are running. So now we uh, move slightly up to do the nginx part so what i have to do is create a but uh, server block in nginx and then add those things so i am going to paste it here which is sudo vi etc nginx uh, node.js.conf just remember you can re replace this node.js with your application name just keep the dot conf at the end so that nginx knows that this is a configuration file so let's click save we are officially creating a Nginx server block. And this is the part. I just need to modify something here. So remember to replace your uh, domain name. So here, uh, I'm just going to add in a subdomain. So let's say a node ssl.xyz. So that's it. You replace this part with your own domain name. That should work. And you can just copy this part and paste it here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we need to restart the Nginx because we created a new server block. So the comment is system restart Nginx. Now, uh, if we set the A record for this one, this is in some domain. Okay, here in my Cloudflare, I manage my teams with Cloudflare, and you can also use, use that. It's free and it provides a lot of features that is not available in the basic. DNS management systems. So I moved, uh, I use Namecheap for like keeping the domains, but the DNS, I keep it with Cloudflare. That's very deep. Standard. Then I'm going to create a new record. Uh, no SSL, IP, and proxy. I'm going to disable at this moment. But yeah, if you click the proxy, then you get a free SSL from uh, Cloudflare as well. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the SSL by myself. So now, we have yes. so node SSL XYZ. Mm -hmm. It says hello world. Okay. Now but it's not secure. So we need to secure it. Now shall we do that? We can do that using installing the get circuit. So in Ubuntu, you can install your script by simply copying the scanners. So it is installing the uh, start board. Okay. Once the start board is being installed, you can use uh, sudo start board nginx command to install the SSL certificate here. They're asking for my email address, which is i at the end of Let's see. Yes. Yes, and I will select all the subdomains to have SSLI installed. Okay, that's been said. Uh, let's go to my browser and refresh this screen. It should redirect to an SSL space automatically, and it does. So you see, hello world, and then we have this open connection is good, it's valid, all these things. So what we are going to do is let's change the message of the application. 
So uh, I'm going to use the index.js file. And, and let's see if anything else does this. Okay, let's see if we uh, see this change immediately or we have to refresh. Okay, we have to uh, restart the process for PM2. So, what we have is PM2 list PC. The process is uh, the process name is my express app. Okay, so but it is PM2. Can we start? You can do all. Sorry. PM2, restart all. What could do it? It will restart all the processes. And uh, if you wanted to do only a specific one, then just give the name rather than all. I'm going to check it now. And that is it. So my changes are in the content. That being said, that was the uh, video it's all about. So we have installed and uh, SSL certificate in Ubuntu for the Node.js application. Very easy using it for people for already. So that being said, uh, that is for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be videos like this. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.